All righty, but next up, Lack Mussolini in an abortion rights or human rights t-shirt. Here comes Punk. He gets the chance. He gets the cheers, the music. He goes to the desk. And as I said, he was wearing an abortion rights or human rights t-shirt in the great state of, of Texas is where they were at. So hopefully their governor and the rest of their sorry sack of shit legislators down there saw that. He's doing color on Adam Page's match with our my new favorite wrestler. He was my new favorite wrestler. There's an update on that. Mr. Take Shitta. That, you know what? You and I talked about this, and I thought, based on what you said, his name was pronounced Takashita in real life, but then it was pronounced a completely different way. I don't know how to pronounce it. It just, I see it written down. It says Takeshita. T-A-K-E-S-H-I-T-A. And you weren't as impressed with him this time as you were last time? No, I was even more impressed with him. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Good. I'll tell you what I thought about this match. And then I'll tell you what I found out. They started out hot. They had a fight. Of course, Paige got to get a dive in in the first 30 seconds. And then, oh, I'm just going to call him Take. Old Take did a better dive right back. He got more height. He was more graceful and he landed better. And again, in this, Paige was kind of wrestling like a heel, but not really. But you can't tell with these guys whether they wrestle as heels or baby. They don't know how to work. They just do what they do. They don't know how to do, be different. There was one point where they went out to the apron to fight with each other and do some shit. And Aubrey was the referee and just stood there and stared at him and didn't even start counting, forgot to count. A couple of times she was like, you guys should come back in. But there wasn't even a count going. She's just staring at him with those awkward ballet poses that look like she's a fucking amputee whooping crane with only one leg, but her arm is sticking out at the fucking side. I don't An amputee whooping crane. An amputee whooping crane. <laughs> it is awkward is the stances. And then they finally finished all their apron spots. And then Paige climbed up the top rope and without looking behind him again, did a trust moonsault off the top to the floor. So again, if you're going to do something that dangerous, anything could happen. Even if he nails it all the time, it's dangerous and it's impressive. All you would have to do is look behind you to determine that the guy that you're going to dive on is still there and it wouldn't look so fucking phony and maybe teach the guy how to sell a little bit so he looks up at the last minute and doesn't just stand there with arms wide open. But anyway, Punk uh, actually created some interest on color, was saying a few things about Paige and their match. My friend Take made a comeback, did another dive. They went back and forth. They did a double knockout on a double clothesline. Of course, Paige has to hit a tombstone pile driver for a two count. And then everything came to a halt at that point because they go too far and they go too long. They never know how to wind it up. But as they went into more back and forth, I started thinking, I think my boy Take is going to win. I think he's going to beat him. He hit a great German suplex and sold his own neck. Uh, he beat the shit out of Adam Page. I'm not sure how this is selling the pay-per-view. Yeah, that the world champion of this company, there's never been a weaker world champion in recorded wrestling history. And he's the main event of the pay-per-view next weekend. And this guy that we never saw until last Friday is kicking a teetotal shit out of him. But nevertheless, I was liking Take. And finally, whatever they did here, Paige stops him, puts him on the top rope, and as he climbs up, take clotheslines Paige off the top rope, but Paige doesn't sell it. He backflips and lands on his feet. Even though he wouldn't be selling the bump, he would be selling the fact that this 230-pound man just clotheslined him. But nevertheless, don't let that get in the way of a cool move. He clotheslined Take and then hit the buckshot lariat and then the go-to-sleep to mock punk one, two, three. 
So the impressive-looking wrestler and athlete in that one was my boy Take Shitta, and Paige nearly got his ass handed to him. And I was thinking again, they want to push somebody. Instead of Wheeler Yuta, why not this fucking guy who's got a body and he looks young and he looks like he's got charisma? Or why not just push this guy in anything, right? Well, as we know, he's from DDT, the outlaw mud show promotion that Twinkle Toes gets his fucking flag at full staff for. And I mentioned on the program last week, I'm sure somebody will send me a clip of him wrestling the fucking blow up sex doll or whatever. Well, no, it was a, it was a small child. So this dipshit's another fucking child wrestler. So... Now he's on on the fucking band list. Old take shit up. Small chat that none of them that come from that company are going to be legitimate wrestlers. They've all have matches with children, blow up dolls, panda bears, inanimate objects. It's a clown show. If it wasn't, they wouldn't have suffered Twinkle Toes' presence. So I hear he's still planning to come back. We've had a break from him because of his injuries and his surgeries. He's still planning to come back, but all his, still his influence is being felt with what's going on here. So, and then pay, Punk and Page went face to face and circled each other while people chanted for Punk because people are tired of Page because he's boring. But yeah, there went take shit for me two matches and he's done. I'll start with the punk page thing. I thought it was a little ridiculous. Page just kind of shoot him away and walked away. <laughs> that was the way the champion reacted to punk being there. Punk's facials on commentary during the match were really awesome. The fact that they were filming him while Page was doing punk's move and you got to see punk talking shit to them or talking shit about Page during a match was good. Yeah. I thought, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Takashita was really impressive and. A lot more impressive than Adam Page. Yeah, it's a shame. And I understand why you think. Unfortunately, as soon as I hear any wrestlers from DDT, I always immediately assume they either wrestled a child or, you know, got a finger stuck in their ass during a match or wrestled a match with jock straps on their head or fucked a panda bear. I don't know what goes on with that weirdo company, but for some reason, there's some weird subsect of society over there, apparently, that likes that stuff. Well, so I've crossed him off my list. He can drop dead, turn green, or fall over for all I care. 